Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Have you played Oko and sang Oko? Oko, it's magic! I have not yet. When I'm with you, when I'm making food. You like Chromium? You like Selm God's Drifting Death? I don't. Yeah, you do. Is there any four mana dragons that we want in here? What about Dungeon Guys? Is that a good dragon? Yeah, it's a great dragon. I know. Do I not have a single Kaya, Orzhov, or Serper? I guess you don't. I don't hate this signboard. We need one more card. Should we put like one cool card in here? What would be a cool card? Do we need three Crux of Fate? I don't know what this format looks like is really my thing. I do want some life gain in the sideboard. One of those things, Reb. Do it. What does Haven of the Spirit Dragon do again? No love for... We got a Dragon Lord Selengar right here. Oh, Scarab God seems legit. Even if he's not a dragon, dude. Yeah, I agree with that. Do I not have... Do I not have this card? Uh... Is it Haven? Is that what it's called? What? Why isn't it showing up? Is it because I haven't done... I would say it's not because I because I haven't done colorless, but like lands were still wait like so wait hold on. If I don't select colorless, core haven, seaside haven, and core haven show up. If I do select colorless, then it shows up. Spend this long on dragon creature spells. Turn a dragon. Hmm. This is interesting. My only concern about this is that you can't cast Silumgar Scorn, which does make it. A little more difficult. I don't need it. But yeah, but you can sack it to return a dragon from your from your graveyard to your hand. Like being able to sack a land to like return a dragon seems really good. I also kind of like Ugin in the deck. Not the eight mana one, but the six mana one. It's not really relevant though because he's not a dragon. But then he kind of is. He's not. I like an Ugin man. Ugin man. What about take me by the hand? What about what about Scarab God? Shit, I do like Scarab God. Also, probably Steam Blade or, or Cast Down. I actually don't know. I actually don't know. That's a hard question you're asking here. I want to put one Scrabble God in the deck, I guess. You guess? I was going to Haven. Just cut one Fatal Push and play that again. We just added another Fatal Push. Just cut one. It's fine. I'm gonna add one Haven to the Spirit Dragon because I think one's probably, probably fine. Kind of planes. I'm gonna probably cut a Goblet Shrine. I like having Four basics. Planes? Yeah, I like having basics. For what? There's no strip mine in the format. There's f Field of Ruin. Who cares? Well, I do if I want a planes. They, what if they Blood Moon us, man? There ain't no Blood Moon in this format. What if they. Fine, cut your Goblet Shrine. See if I care. Oh, you're running Fable Patches, bro. That's why. There's Fable Passage in the deck, Michael. That can only get basics, right? Yeah. Well, then we only have four basics? Yeah. And three Fable Passage. I don't like that. Nope. Don't like that. No. Don't like that. Come on, man. Bring in that Ugin. Cut that Fatal Push. Two Fatal Push is fine. They do the same thing. Why wouldn't I cut the cast down? Sure, cut the cast down. Whatever. Because we have three murderous riders. All right. Um. What are failed passages going for? I bet they went up. They're they're failed passage was two dollars yesterday. Now it's eight dollars because it's like the only fetch land in this format. That's insane. Also, we have twenty five lands. No, twenty six lands. Wow, that's a good amount. Well, because you added a land and didn't cut one. I know. No, we did, yeah, we did. We cut a Goblet Shrine. Oh, we didn't did? cut okay. a. We didn't cut an Ugin card. Do you want a fourth Crux, of, a third Crux of Fate? Three Crux of Fate seems like a lot. Yeah, you could probably run two. That's probably fine. I'll put it in the sideboard. I'm gonna take this Gideon out. I really don't understand the Gideon here. Over the Kaya. What does that even do? I mean, you exile graveyard stuff against Dredge. It's, it's one at a time, though, isn't it? No, it's two. You can exile up to two cards. Eh. And you gain two life if any of them are creatures. I'd rather play like a real hate card. <laughs> like what? Like Tomagood's Crypt. 
Tormigan's Crypt. <laughs> A, that's not legal because this is not that. What about the other one that costs one mana? Jesus. I don't know the other one. Nether Spellbomb or whatever? Nether Spellbomb? <laughs> the Black Spellbomb? Yeah, don't is that legal? Nihil Spellbomb? Yeah. Do you think that was, do you think that came out after Return to Ravnica? Sure. Hmm. Um, fabled. Relic, that's what I'm thinking of, a relic. Which also probably didn't come out. Relic of Progenitus? Yeah. Still no, buddy. Still no. That's even older, isn't it? Dang it. Mm, boy. All right. Rest in peace, is rest in peace legal? No. No? No, rest in peace was in a straw, buddy. Right? Rest in peace was returned. Was it was returned to Ravnica? Got him. That's better than Kai. Dang. Dang. Is it though? Because doesn't it kill our own dig through times and our own Jace's Ringe prodigies and our own? I guess so. And our own Scarab God. Like I don't. I don't feel like we're getting rid of both graveyards is really where you want to be. So there's not going to be any dredge deck. There's no dredge mechanic. Who cares about graveyards? Huh. Well, you know what I think about you. Don't care. Shut your porridge hole. That's what I think. My porridge hole, huh? I don't think I've ever had porridge. Because who the hell eats porridge? Wait, what's going on? I think they call that loading. Why can't I run these cards? Graph Diggers hates on Coco. You want it. Graph Diggers Cage hates on Collected Company. Interesting. Uh, one, two. I don't know if Foul Tongue Invocation is great. I think it's just cute because it's. Because it hits the. Dragon themed? Yeah. Why can't I run? What's going on? Hold on, I gotta figure out what's going on with Mana Traders right now. There's probably too many people on it. That's literally what I feel like, yeah. I just want to see if there's... <coughs> Oh, it's like 19 minutes. They're like, it's 19 minutes on trades right now. Yikes. Yikes. Service will be rocky over the next 24 hours. Please bear with us during the Pioneer Instruction. We will be extending all users' license one day for the inconvenience. That's pretty sweet. Just hand the queue and do not cancel the trade. Everyone literally is renting a Pioneer deck. That's insane. Oh no. Uh, are the bots working now? I'm still having issues. They are, and the system's working. Do you have the rent button disabled? Yep. Try different browsers and control F5. Same problem here, incognito mode. Nope, for whatever reason, switching to the old deck builder worked for me. Okay, hold on. Wow, the number of people, including like Matt and Ass, who are using Mana Traders to rent cards is pretty insane, dude. Back to the old deck builder. What was it? Three Teferi. I'll just buy the Ugin. Fabled Passage times two. I'll say three just to be safe, but I'll just say two because I don't want to overload them. And that should be it, right? I really don't want to have to go in the second time. Okay. You want some rent? All right, let's see if this works. Man. Dubious challenge is the best thing to be doing in Peanut right now. 
Is that true? Don't call it peener. I don't even know what Dubious Challenge does, I'll be honest with you. It's the, it's the green bullshit card <laughs> that I have zero of. That I have four of. Look at the top ten cards of your library. Exile to two creature cards among them, then shuffle your library. Target opponent may choose one of the exile cards and put on the battlefield, put the rest of them under. What does this do? Do you think a blue-green Oko deck with Eldrazi could be good? Um, probably. Do I own this all? Do I own a different Ugin? I don't even know, man. I'll be honest with you. I don't think I own any of these. Oh, I do. Oh, gas. I didn't even have to buy this. That's great news. Well, it's already happening. No, I didn't rent it. I was oh. going to buy it anyway. Wow, this is much cooler. Wow, I went to brush my teeth and came back and we're still not jamming. You know what? You're banned. <laughs> I'm going to time you out for five minutes. Can you even do that to a mod? Message is 999 plus. One timeout? Wow. Yeah, we're just getting the cards now. I don't know how long it's going to take, though, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. You said it was like 19 minutes. Do we? Can we double queue? So Katie's like working overnights at the vet. Overnights? Right? Yeah, from oh. 7 p.m. to like 7 a.m. Yikes. It's insane. And like last night, after I went to bed, she messaged me and she was like, just had to do four euthanasias, so that was fun. Oh, yikes. And right now she's like, I have to do two euthanasias, so I'll respond in between. And I'm like, oh, God. That's got to be the worst part of that job by far, right? <sighs> yeah, and that's why when she tells me stuff like that, I'm like, I have no idea how you do it. Like, it's I, I, I could never. It takes a strong will. Ben, I think uh, oh, wait. Oh. we're at like 50% on, uh, on Mana Traders right now, so... Wait, am I banned? Why isn't Frank noticing me bits? Who is that? What is it with this Arnold Schwarzenegger gif? Like, is this new to, to promote Terminator? Like, having to do, like, close to 10 euthanasias in two days is just unbelievable to me. I can't even, like... Uh, it's unreal. Wow. I mean, like, Mana Trader's coming through in, like, five minutes, dude. That's amazing. I just gotta gain the system. Well, I don't want to say it like that. We didn't game the system. If anyone's trying to use Mana Traders right now, uh, there's a button on the right-hand side of the deck builder that says Use Old Deck Builder, and that should work better. That's what worked for me. Um, and now we have all these, so... Are you gonna put Mike down? <laughs> Mike, me and Mike are gonna take a trip upstate, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go to a farm up there, so... I, we're gonna have a good day. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna get him some of his favorite treats. You know, he's like sushi. Yeah, we're gonna get him some sushi. It's gonna be a good day. Gonna make sure he has a good time. That's like 15. What are you gonna do, bits? Hey, what are you gonna do, huh? Uh, one of these. One, two of these one of these and then we're going to take out this guy this guy and these two jobbies all right let's do it i think i bet fully forgot to take the trash out again all right he's good at that all right let's go 20 play points wait what happened did they select the right deck oh yeah my peener peener my elder peener <laughs> oh yes Mike, did you end up getting a nightstand? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Dan, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate you. You are awesome. I have a real life bed stand now. A bed stand? Nightstand. Should be called. It should be called a bed stand. Um, uh, mana traders. All right, Brian or whatever. Let's do it. Oh, good lord! Five drop, six drop. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. A bold choice. Is it? Yeah. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. I can't cast anything in this hand, but that's okay. Oh. Oh, biscuits. 
I got excited about that. Apparently. Did you see my two monitor boxes when you came in? Oh, yeah. I thought you had, like, a Hulk statue or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, get him. Get him. The old twofer. Oh, yeah, there he is. He got hexproof, Michael. <laughs> yep, sure does. <laughs> what are you going to do now? Nothing? Come on, Brian. Or whatever. Oh, now we got a hard counter? And we can just sit on it? Oh, yes. Oh, Finity. Oh, Finity is easily the best clipper in this channel. It's not even close, dude. No. Silongar the Drifting Death? What the? No. That's not good. <laughs> it's got hexproof. Yeah. It sure does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It sure does. They just opted <laughs> twice. That's a solid clip, dude. Um, yeah, well, it's whatever. I don't care about that. It's a 1-1, one, one, man. 1-1, one, one, man. Give me that. Just give me a land here so I can, so I can Dragon Lord. The thing I don't like is if we target this, they could sacrifice it, and we don't get to draw a card. So don't. Just plus one it. Or I could just not play it at all. So that's what we'll do. I guess plus one it's good too, but I'd rather be able to keep up uh, Salimgar's Skjorn. <sighs> Again with this. Not happening, bro. Oh, wizard retort. Cast additional cost of real dragon from my hand. Okay. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Come on, Brian. Or whatever. What's your name anyway? Uh, Brian or whatever. Alright, now we get to play Big Tur oh, shit. <clears throat> do we? I don't think I care what they do, so I think I'm just gonna play Teferi try to draw a card. Yeah, their threats are like one ones. The game is over for them, no matter what happens. Wow. Uh, return to one. I'll do nothing. Gee, that's not a. I mean, it's good enough, right? It lets us cast OG twos. Well, that's not a thing I care about, really. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just play you. One, two, three, four, five. Good luck. Also, this guy, whenever a dra Oh, so we can play this guy next turn, and this guy will kill this. Yes. Instantly. It would have killed it by its own, too, so... Why? But, I mean, we can't attack with this next turn, so next turn oh, this yeah, just yeah, dies. Yeah, okay. And then we automatically get to deal combat damage. Automatically? Well, because they're not going to block her. This guy ain't blocking anybody. All right, I'll block now, but mm, that's fine, I guess. Oh, God. Wait, what? Wait, how did... Why did... Wait, what? They have conceded. But why? I don't know. This guy gets pumped, so it's a 1-2. I don't understand. No. Uh, Brass seem good here. Did they have to bounce their own creature? Is Merfolk Trickster a, a must ability? A possibility? A mustard ability? So if I showed preview pane and I clicked over the... Why... Can someone explain to me why after like six years of this client being around, I still can't click on these cards that get highlighted and have them show up in the preview pane? I'm going to look up Trickster. Tap target creature and opponent controls. No, it doesn't. You don't have to target our guy. It doesn't have to target anything. Do you know Elk Tears? Uh, I don't think so. That doesn't sound familiar. <clears throat> okay, so I think Mystical Dispute comes in. It's literally a... It's basically a one-mana mana leak against them. Bring another Crux of Fate. I guess that's probably fine. I'll probably cut some digs here. Cut a Teferi. I'll cut a dig. I'll cut... Probably a Jake's, maybe. 
Three deck, three digs in this deck seems aggressive. Three digs in any deck seems aggressive. I mean, it, I think it was it was more reasonable when we had ops, but I did add another Jace so we can loot. But I think three is a lot. I agree with that. I feel like we're never casting more than one in a game. What kind of thought sees? This doesn't seem like a thought sees deck. DLO is a house. What is DLO? Dragon Lord Ojitai? You ain't kidding, buddy. How many black sources do we have in this deck? I feel like we're not getting any black sources. Seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen. That's way more than enough, right? I'm still going to keep it because we have Jace and we have double Solemgar Scorn. Watery Grave off the top. You ready? That's not it. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Frank, can you see any of the Elk Tears messages in the chat right now? I can't. I don't know about you. Can you see any of Elk I don't know who that is, so I don't know why I'm... Are you going to counter this? Oh, you're going to opt? Okay. What up, Chris? 100 Elk Tears bits. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No blocks. Pretty sure this hand was a mulligan. Wow. Aggressive. Okay, that's enough. I think Play this hand Jace. is... What? Play another Jace. It's legendary. Yeah. I'd rather just keep up counter spells. But then you can fuel your dig food time. But I'd rather, I'd rather count other things. They ain't playing anything. That is the feeling I'm getting. All right, well, land. There's 26 lands in this deck, so. I'm just taking two here so that we can Slumgar Scorn and Mystical Dispute. Also, Ugin, sadly not a dragon. Man, you guys are, you guys are bitting it up tonight. Doctors didn't make it in time to the Under the Sea dance where they made their parents kiss. Yeah, it's true. So he's slowly disappearing. Oh, I'm hitting one instead of two. That's why. Um, <coughs> third creature in Does lose? Do I care about this? Probably I mean, it's not. pressure. It's two damage. I ain't worried yeah, about that. I mean, that's three a turn. Is it three a turn? No, wow. man, we're almost dead. Just wait till I kill them. Oh no, that's terrible. You just let it happen. Because <sighs> I was, I was making, I made a mistake. Hmm. Okay, I made a mistake, Michael. Clearly. Where are my black sources in this, in this Esper deck? Apparently they don't exist. Jesus, they really don't exist. They don't exist. <laughs> That's funny. I get that. I understand that meme. Hey, man. What? How was your fettuccine? It was delicious. Is it just standard fettuccine, or they got some special going they on? They put it? peas and chicken and mushrooms in there, and I got Ooh. it without the mushrooms. Well, you would. I think I just want to go to the next game here. You're probably not winning, so. Oh, next turn, we would've, this is what would have drawn this for the turn. We would have drawn this off Jace. That's unbelievable. Criminal, criminalized ghosting. What does that mean? What are you saying, Reddit? Right you messed it up, man. You ruined the bit. What bit? You read his message. Whose? Elk Tears. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> 
I don't even know what you're talking about, man. Yeah, I think Dig Through Time is a little bit... Uh, it's not good. It's not good. I mean, it's good. The card is good. I think you need to play Ops for it to be playable. I think you need to shut up to be playable. Got him. Hmm. Did you? Buddy, you know I did. Did you really? Did you really got me? Did you really get him? Got him. I think Felipe remembered. Doubt it. I think he's doing it right now. Never. It sounds a lot like he's doing it right now. No, I don't think so. Do they have one land? Wow. Yeah, when I saw that box, I was like, did he get another figurine? Where's he going to put that thing? Oh, I have two more coming, so. <laughs> Why do you call them figurines? Statues, okay, whatever. Figurines. It's a figurine. It's just a big figurine. A figurine is small. I think that's where the Ean comes from. Thank you. I don't know, man. I don't know anything about Daniel Dadcliffe. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. I don't know anything about word science. Okay, so our opponent's just dead, right? I mean, they're winning the race. Oh, God, you're right. They just discarded a card, though. Dude, we can't even crux face. How do we win? Why can't we crux fate? They'll, they'll counter it. How would they counter it? Because crux of fate says target player, <laughs> you destroy them all. Target non dragons. Target each player. Those players destroy their creatures. Yeah. I mean, I feel like they do have spell pierce, but like whatever, man. I don't even care at this juncture. Destroy them non dragon boys. Spell pierce. Spell pierce, Leo. Spell Pierce is always like Spell Pierce is like legal and standard, right? I don't know, man. I actually don't know. The last time Spell oh, Pierce. Either was... way, they didn't have it. They didn't. They probably made a Spell Pierce recently. <laughs> they probably made one recently. I'm gonna look up the last Spell Pierce. The hardest thing with with Pioneer is like remembering what cards are in what format. Now I'm like, I know it's in Modern. Is it in Pioneer? Uh, there was one in Ixalan, so it's definitely legal. All right, so we're taking out one dig. I take all digs out. All the digs? I feel like maybe one. I do like one dig. I think one dig is more than enough. I miss Manalik. Me too, buddy. What else can we add? I don't think the stream is down. Pretty sure it's just you, Standard Beat. <laughs> refreshy. Do the refreshy. That's fun. Unfortunately, if the stream is down, he can't hear that. Oh, yeah. That's true. Why Rider over Hero's Downfall? Because I think Rider is actually significantly better. Isn't it just an upgraded Hero's Downfall? I mean, you take two, but the guy's lifelink. But then you get a creature out right. of it. Ugin seems unnecessary. I just like playing cards that... I, yeah, but I don't care what I don't care about necessity when I'm building decks. I also think it's pretty good if you if you get it. I think it's great. Jay Pisto, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Also, like you can get it back with Haven. Like I don't know, it seems great. It doesn't work with Jay's fly. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I think I think like being a better card on its own is better than having a card that works better if you happen to flip a Jace. Right? Like, I'd rather have a, a strictly better card. Well, not strictly because it's, it's got different properties. But, like, a card that when I draw it alone is better than a card that it might be a little bit better if yeah, I draw actually, it with Jace. Come to think of it, is Jace even good in this deck? You know, I don't know. What's the best, like, card draw in the format? Like, just blue card draw. Thanks, Rev. One. We have six dragons. Is that even enough? We took out one OG time, added one Chromium, which I think is actually fine. I do like Search for Ezkanta a lot. Yeah, that's probably better than Jason this deck. It also doesn't die to your own Crux of Fate. Oh, wow. I just... Oh, God. Oh, God. Please enter Ezkanta and not Search if you're looking for... All right. Take out the Jaces. Oh, 100 Karab... Oh, 200 Karabas bits? Wow. That'll feed your whole family. That will feed your whole family. That'll also, it'll also burn your throat. Hold on.
We could play a big Tef. Oh, big Tefri sounds amazing. Downfall is better than Rider with search. What? Why? Oh, because you can search for it? Sure, but Rider is better than... Again, like, I mean, <laughs> Rider is better than everything else. Like, I'm not going to, like... I... You guys are like you guys are like having a card like like if you if there, like if there's ancestral recall that says draw three cards, but then there's a card that says draw five cards for one mana. If you if you have this other card in play, and you're like, well, this card's better with the other card that you may have in play sometimes. And I'm like, I'd rather just draw the three all the time than maybe draw the five sometimes. Like it just doesn't it just not it doesn't really balance out. Two chemistry's insight. M. Schmidt, thank you so much. Chemistry's insight, interesting. Yeah. This is a lot of five drops, though, man. Our five drops are looking pretty, pretty fat here. No torrential gear hulk. Like, what are we even target? Selimgar scorn. Like, all we, all we have is Selimgar scorn and fatal push. Like, we're not really a torrential gear hulk deck. We still like big tefs. Like, we have a dig, but we're not putting enough cards in the graveyard to to dig. Collective Brutality is kind of meh. Lowell's the one card is better with the cards with a card in our deck. What 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 are the multiple cards? Plus that only that's only better when <laughs> Ascanta actually flips. Right, like it's better with one card in our deck, not with all the cards. In a situation where we don't draw one of our two Ascantas, Murderous Rider is better. Like that, like your your strategy is not sound, and like you're trying to sell it like it is, which is just comical. Thank you. Ani's Joker, thank you so much for the reset. Really appreciate it. Is Cryptic Command legal? No, unfortunately. Yes, That's Reflector Mage is legal, but uh, we're not trying to play creatures before before he crux the fate. Ojitai's command is interesting. Champion of Wits is also interesting. I think I would like Champion of Wits better if we didn't have dig, or if we if we had more more of the digs. We have like no four drops. What if you're at two? Sure, I guess. I guess in that pl in, in that situation, you can just actually play the murderous rider, and then you gain life. <laughs> so I mean, like, I feel like if I'm at two, then I then I'm glad I have a, a two three life linker. So charter course, eh, we ain't attacking enough for that. Yeah, I don't think Ojedi's command is great here. To be quite honest, I don't think the, I I don't think the modes are great. Choose a creature with command cost two or less from your graveyard, so that mode is blank. Gain four counter a creature, draw a card. I don't know. Hostage Taker seems legit. Oh, wow. I like that a lot. That's the hardest thing to do is you're like, you have to remember cards that are good, that are good, that were like amazing in the past five years of standard, but they aren't also legal in modern. Oh, no, you're wrong here. Okay, my bad. Solid argument. Got me. <laughs> I guess I'm wrong. I had not considered that. Um, a mentor like mentor the meek i mean our goal is to is, our goal is to crux of fate like we're playing a dragon based deck selimgar's command i'm not really looking for more five drops if i was looking for a five drop i'd probably just play um teferi i do like two hostage takers though i like some form of draw spell here something i do too but i mean dragon lord ojitai is also very good also search risk is good for uh I mean, Search also hits, like, all these cards. Yeah, I like Chemistry's Insight. Oh, Drawn from Dreams is interesting. I mean, I feel What's like... Drawn from Dreams, do Oh, that's the, like, the manual dig for four? Yeah, but again, Hostage Taker... Again, like, if we're not playing... If we're not playing uh, Thief of Sanity because of Crux of Fate, I don't know if I like Hostage Taker instead. Glimmer definitely does not seem better than... How is Glimmer better than Chemistry's Insight? Because the scry, I mean, I'd rather have a second copy where I can discard something irrelevant in the late game, like a thought season draw, just two more. <sighs> I don't think pieces of the puzzle hits nearly enough in this deck. Or Narsa. Don't forget, Murderous Rider is a creature. Like we're not hitting it. We're not looking for a spell-based deck, guys. We're mostly using search for like card filtering. Like it, it'll probably flip sometimes. But, like, I'm not super concerned with search flipping, which is why I think Murderous Rider is better, even though people in the chat seem to disagree with me and think, like...
Honestly, stream question about Pioneer. I'm listening. Nezahal draws cards and is an underwater dragon. Nice. Nice. Unfortunately, Selimgar Scorn does not care about underwater dragons. God Pharaoh's Gift playable? Maybe. Uh, Travis, are you referring to the Scarab God, which is right here? I think it is. I think it... Is there any, like, three mana... Are there any three mana draw spells other than, like, Divination? Like, is there any three mana draw spell that, like... We can also play, like, Liliana of the Veil. Vale. Or, no, Liliana of the, the Last Hope. I don't know if that's good. I do like Supreme Will. Supreme Will seems good. Painful Truth's also not too bad. Yeah. I think I want to try two Supreme Will for now. Oh, and we get one more slot. Interesting. Painful Truth. Yeah, we'll try one Painful Truth. Interesting. All right, cool. I'm okay with it. Oh, we can also EOT Painful Truth, which is sweet with a Teferi. Only in dreams. Notion Rain over Painful Truth? What's Notion Rain? Notion Rain is like draw two, surveil. Or surveil and then draw two. But you take two light, you take two damage. Uh, how, I don't know if that's better than... Notion Rain. Yeah, surveil two, then draw two cards, deals you two damage. Which is fine. I mean, you're you're always drawing two instead of probably always drawing three. Oh, Sign of Blood is in the format? Interesting. Um, Cyclonic Rift is interesting. I don't know if we're gonna like I think it just it just depends on what the format looks like, right? Like Sphinx Rev just better than Dig? Maybe, but I don't know how much mana we're gonna end up having. Baby Jace we already took out. Man, like the funny thing about the funny thing about this format so far is like everyone has really strong opinions on it. Can this not be in Oh god, it's so bright, dude. What? I don't know how to change this. It's so bright. Oh, there we go. It was in it was in uh it was not in dark mode and I was like my cringe was so real. It was not. I was just... I was in a lot of pain, guys. I'm really sorry. Oh, yeah. This is it. 26 lands. 26 lands. We're doing it. Do you think Green Devotion with the Megamorph crap, crap will be playable in this? Oh, dude. I don't know, man. I don't know what's... Oh, yeah. All right. Let's get rid of, hmm, Watery Grave. Done. All right, they went to 6-2, it seems like. You think 5-color Niv has a shot in this format? Probably. They did not go to 6. I went to 6. Interesting. Did I just murder this guy? I feel like, oh, wow, the fourth, the fourth Watery Grave has appeared. Boop. Just play that same version of that standard deck with the uh, fires of whatever. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Where you get two free spells a turn. Forest, 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 blister pond. Let's get rid of your blister pond. What are you saying? That one deck that played that card that lets you only play two spells a turn. Fires of invention? Yeah. Let's play that in this format. Got another blister pod? Okay. So forest, forest, blister pod. Oh, I took a, I took too many forests away. Idiot. What an absolute dummy. I think I'm just casting down this guy because I can. And then we take four less because I don't have to, like, pay the two and then pay the other two. So we're going to have forest, forest, blister pod. So forest. Oh, swamp. All right. So we still know forest, forest, blister Two forests and one other card. Sounds good. Uh, 
See, this is kind of like uh, where I want to murder a Shrider, because next turn they have nothing and we can play a 2-3. So, I'm okay with that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take one. This guy just makes a token. Do I even care? <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'm not going to argue that there is a lot of cards that deal us damage, but, I mean... There's not really that many, actually. I mean, Thoughtseize is Thoughtseize. It's, 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 it's going to be a staple. So is Painful... Or, uh, so is, um... What's it called? What are you doing, man? You alright? Yeah, what are you doing? I'm scratching my eye. How's that working out for you? Pretty good. Is it? Yeah. Is it? One, two... Boom. No pain, no glory. Um... Oof. No gamble, no feature. Dragonlord Silumgar. No suture, no butcher. I am familiar with the no suture, no butcher. What about Thought Erasure instead of um, Thought Seize? I kind of I don't hate that. Aetherling? Oh, Aetherling. That's a card. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I kind of want Fatal Push. We don't want to trigger it this turn. So if they triple block, it's pretty rough. I think I just want Dragonlord Slumgar because if they pop this, it's like good for us. Asking so asking like if you can ever get rid of an Aetherling is a hard question to answer when a format is this like new. Okay, that actually seems very good for us. Although they can start making guys with this, unfortunately. They can also block Sack Scry. Is it indestructible? It is, right? It's all the things. It is all the things. Yeah, it's a really interesting hill to die on to keep going on about Murderous Rider. Like, you killed the one with your three mana spell just so you could play a two three. So if, let's say we had Hero's Downfall instead. There is that better? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Like, it's not a big deal. Well, so we did that so we could just play a two three with Lifelink. Yeah, I just point. rather have a creature out at that point. Like, I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna cast this guy regardless on the next turn because they don't have anything going on. So I'm not gonna sit here and hold it for twenty turns and give them more time. At the time, they didn't have anything on board, so I made a decision to. Yeah, we can keep up. Uh... Yep, that seems good. All right, so now we get to Solomgar Scorn. If they make this guy at the end of the turn, why do they not flip Abby? Uh, they still can. I mean, they need five. Yeah, they're probably gonna do it. Oh, they're collected companying. Unfortunately, they don't know about this, so it's less of a surprise, but. Think about Sinks Drive is you reached a point where you kept looping them while playing Elixir Mortality. That also meant you could play very few conditions. Um, this is that's, this deck is definitely not trying to do that. Like we definitely want to be attacking with big dragons. Yeah, that would be a different deck. Not that, that deck isn't is bad. It could be good. You don't have to reveal if you control a dragon. Oh, man. If you reveal a dragon or control a dragon. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, well. Man. That may cost us. Of course, if we... if we, I'm just going gonna, gonna to slam Dragonlord Silumgar, because if they want to, like... Wait, why would you slam that? Or Dragonlord Ojitai, rather. I'm going to attack with Dragonlord oh. Ojitai. Why yeah. did you pick Ex Esper of Grixis? Because of Dragonlord Ojitai? Oof. 
Teferi seems pretty okay. Yeah, we definitely hold the Solongar in case they flip, then we can steal it. Does it have Hexproof? I don't think... No. But, like, I don't know if they have... Hmm. Oh, you can also bounce it. Yeah, that's a good point. That's pretty brutal. This is only a 9-9, right? 9-7? Sure. You got collect another collected company? Jeez. Seems good. Okay, so you have one sack outlet, which is fine. Which we can actually just bounce this guy so he doesn't actually get to attack next turn, which is actually better for us, I think. I think I'm trying to figure out a thing. Go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, Nantuko, Nantuko Husk is kind of rough, though, because now they can just sacrifice the Ormondal when we go steal it. Yeah, there was definitely merit to playing Passage. I mean, I don't think it was... I just I just wanted to get this down because it deals us damage. Like, I don't know. Uh, like, if they Alpha here, we go Block here, we go to f 13. We take... Oh, they're going to have to sack five dudes, though, so I'm not super concerned with it. So they're going to replay this guy. I mean, a crux of fate here would be really what you want to, <laughs> what you want to see. See, like even now, like this late in the game on turn ten, we only have five cards in our graveyard, which is like, dig through time didn't, didn't seem that great. Oh wow, we're getting aggressive here. All at me, huh? One, two. Mm -hmm. All right, so gonna they're not gonna let us gain life, I'm sure. So, but if we do a, if we block a regular dude, it gets it off the board. Well, if we block here though, we get to still get to gain two, which is better than preventing one. So. So we took three there, one, two, three, four, five, and then we gained two. Yep, yeah, sure. I do like a non-land. That's really what we're looking for here. It's gotta have trample? No, which is nice. Because we should be able to get Tefri up to three to bounce it after they uh because Tefri's going to two now. Don't be a land. Oh, and it's a land. Raniel Dadcliffe, have a good night, buddy. Have fun with your peener. I always do, sir. I always do. Um, so the thing is, I can actually sacrifice this and flip this, and then we just steal it. I mean, if they even if they sacrifice this, like we still get to get rid of it for good, which is pretty strong on this situ in this situation. Are we just dead now? How are we dead? Can they just make their Olam Dog out of turn? Olam Dog? Yeah. <laughs> What's Olam Dog? <laughs> Why can't I just play this guy? Like. Oh, sure. Also, this guy's insane against them right now. No, I'm going to keep this guy. I'm going to just play Dragon Lord Selling Bar Steel Nantuko Husk. They also. And, and like. So they have to sacrifice the Nantuko Husk. They might go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make Ormondal. We'll just block it. Although, the, the thing is, with, with Catacomb Sifter, they do get, like, 5 looks. They get to scry, like, 10 times. Man, I wish I had this guy pre-combat. That'd be amazing. I 
I'm missing any interactions here. I don't think so. I'm just going to take this Silumgar. We did this guy. Are you getting tired? Oh, I'm getting really sleepy. I've been up since 5 p.m. today, and I'm getting so tired. Just yawning, man. Get over it. No. So what I think they're going to do is sack this guy. Nope, they just sacked that guy by himself. All right, so they cannot. Okay. Seems good. Them not knowing we have this is very, very good, because it kills, like, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. So... I'm okay with it. God. Oh, my God. Just stop it. Uh, if you played if you played Selimgar pre-combat, yes. Unfortunately, we didn't have Selimgar pre-combat because we hit it off of the Ojitai, so. Unfortunately, we do not have access to time travel powers. What did they hit? Oh, uh, my kills. No, they don't have a sack outlet. They don't? No. What's their sack outlet? I'm a dad. Well, they can sack this, go one, two, three, four, five, make an Ormondal. We would block it. I mean, they could deal us a lot of damage here for sure. They might actually be able to kill us. <sighs> now we're definitely dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so. Definitely bringing in that. I feel like Unmoored Ego is pretty good if we name like Nantuko Husk. Yeah, that requires it to not be on the board when we do it. You could just kill it. Eh, I don't know. Seems kind of weak. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Seems kind of weak. Players can't cast spells from graveyards and libraries. Creatures can't enter the battlefield. It's actually good against a uh, collected company. Oh, yeah. Is it's it fun. good against anything else, though? Does it need to be good against anything else? Blanking their, like, main card advantage spell seems good hmm hmm okay like one Thoughtseize or one fatal push yeah I was feeling it whatever alright we'll see if this does anything we added a crux of fate I don't know if we want the fourth crux of fate or not the problem is if they have um Bad. Yeah, right. Like that's what I'm thinking. Like I mean, like we can we can crux of fate, and then they're like, yeah, it takes seven. See, millionaire, why do you keep saying language? I don't understand what's going on. F fun artifact explorer. I mean, there's probably something for sure. Um, I'm offended that you're only playing one dig at a time. Well, there's not a really good way to fill up our graveyard, so we're really only reasonably going to be able to cast one one dig per game. Yeah, we literally didn't even have enough to, like, really dig through time last game. Like, we could have digged once in, like, the very late game last game, so. What are you doing, man? Squeezing the mic? I was trying to do that. Yeah, the only reason we play over Crux is just because of the dragon theme. Right, where we can kill their creatures and not ours. Like, I don't know why we'd choose Languish over that when it kills our Dragon Lord Ojitai. I mean, we're playing Esper. We can just as easily play uh, Supreme Verdict, which is probably better than Languish. Which one's better against you? It is Wednesday, my dudes. It's not. Shut up. It is what? Oh, it's not anymore. Dang it. It is not. What was it? God, your body makes so much so many weird noises, man. Don't we all? Don't we all what? Make weird noises. 
No, just you, bro. Dang it. Sorry, my dude. Sorry, my dude. It is Wednesday. Do you know about the Wednesday? What about it? Do you know about... I'm just going to wait so we can crux the fate. Just going to wait to crux the fate. All right, so... Uh, I feel like we really want, like, a... A four mana spell in this deck. There are no collective brutality, no. I just don't feel like it's a main deck card very frequently. Contempt? Oh, Vraska's Contempt? I just don't think... Like, we have Murderous Rider. It's a Murderous Rider. I guess we'll take four. You can scry three. Under scry three... Mike is much better when things are Michael. Take it from Mike B. You like this, uh... No. Okay. <laughs> no! You got it. See, so look at this. I'd have to tap out, and I still don't have a second blue. <laughs> Maybe this Haven's not great. I don't know. <laughs> well, if we cast Yehenny's Expertise, what are we casting off of it? Like, Selmgar Scorn? Tefri? Yehenny. Lori. <laughs> <laughs> Yanni. Yanni. Laurel. You guys know Yehenny and Laurel. Man, I really... My, my kingdom for a second blue source. Y'all ever had a rogue's massage before? No. No. Yeah, I don't actually know if the exile is relevant yet, and I also think you gain two life if you ever cast a uh, murderous rider and then attack with it. To be fair, we cut a godless shrine for that land, so... It would, be, it would have just been a godless shrine instead, so it still wouldn't work. That's true. That's a good point, actually. This was a godless shrine. Okay. Sure. What up, Bolus? Is your four drop? Wow, I like that a lot. But, like, it's. I feel like it's really. The, my biggest. Oh, actually, we can play Bolus off of Haven, Haven of the Spirit Dragon. You have to play more, though. Yeah, we could. You also have to change your mana base around. Oh, I'm game for that, though, dude. Nickel Bolus the Ravager as your four drop, dude? That's some chef's kiss shit right there, my dude. Play more dragon stuff then, too. Like, pretty, dragon pretty, does? Pretty, dragon pretty, dust? Pretty, yeah. Pretty, Sounds like a drug, dude. Pretty good. Talking about drugs? You can probably dig here, too, right? No, because we don't have second blue. Dang it. That's the reason why we can't do either of these things. Four copies of Mana Confluence? God, we're going to murder ourselves. Oh, that's good, though. It is a good card. Scuba do 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 go Yeah, that's just going to kill us in a in a short while. Blue source. I'm going to attack. I think we can hit something good here. Even if it's just a blue source. Into a dig through time. Oh, shit, another edge of time. Hmm. Take the passage. That could sound island. No, it doesn't really have one island in the deck. 
Rats. They have no cards in hand? Hmm. They don't even need them. Do I just Supreme Will here and try to hit anything? Sure. I guess we don't have to, though. Like, what are we going to hit? I can do it during their turn, and if they don't count, if they don't do a thing, and we can take four here. If they play Catacomb Sifter, we die. Nah, we're fine. The problem with the five man Inical Bolus is that it's not a dragon, per se. It's not a dragon, Percy. Oh, it didn't do anything. Alright, we're gonna Supreme Will here. Murderous Rider! Or do you want to draw a catacomb? I want the rider. I think we can get a second a second land easily. And we can also just kill this and then Tuka Husk and then just play ya boy. Glacial Fortress, that's exactly Ooh, Ugin though. Okay, so we can actually go cast down this guy and still dig. That seems really good. And we don't have four black here, so. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I don't know. Idiot. <laughs> God. Roasted. Are they going to sack their whole team? Yeah, they're going for it. Going for the garbage can. Beep, 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 beep. Nice. They were going for the garbage can. I watched it happen. I think we're actually good like this. Yeah. The, the fourth crux of fate is tempting, but I don't know if we need it. Eh. Ship it. Grixis splash white for Ojitai seems good. Is there a big Grixis? Is there a big Grixis? No, I guess uh, Nicobolus is the Grixis dragon. Uh, you guys play that big old hasty one. I don't think this is a hasty one deck though. Is that my Colagon? Yeah, clock him for five. Clock him for five. Clock him, bam. Clock him and rock him. Mike won't let them take the garbage can. He lives there. That's true. Don't take my home. Oh, are you gonna? Oh man, are you gonna? Oh, that's not as impressive. And we take no damage off our lands until never. Do we do we t do we search for Ascanta next turn or do we leave up the counter? Yeah, these are the questions we ask ourselves. Um, well, I mean, what are they going to play on three that we care about? My dad. Oh yeah, I, I forgot about that. I mean, Catacomb Sifter is a threat. Eh, you got a crux. That's true. All right, I'm going to do it. I don't know if it's great, but I'm going to do it. Don't be a stupid baby. It's really hard, though, man. Because I feel oh, like... Oh, that's annoying. Is it? Yeah, they take our crux. Yeah, but they don't do anything else meaningful this turn, I imagine. Ugh. Plus, we can just draw another crux. You don't even do anything meaningful. Oh, God, you're right. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I just draw another crux, he says. We're just going to draw another crux, he says. <laughs> Remember when I said that? I do. I said it right before I did it. You remember that? Mm -hmm. You remember me? You remember me doing that? I do remember that. I did it. It just happened. Why has God forsaken us? Because you touch yourself, Michael. <laughs> oh, they don't want to attack with their elves, so they can keep up the end of turn. Collected campagna. Any land I'm just keeping. So they're going to go collected company. They're going to attack for a bunch. And then we're going to... Get them. We are going to get them. You ready? Oh, what's it going to be? Springwell or Selengar scorn for this. Wouldn't you rather save the hard counter? I guess so. But this is also a, a card draw spell at some point. You know what I mean? Who even cares about that? Wow, I guess not you, huh? What are you, Jimmy the Fish? 
I don't know why I would be that because I wanted to save the card draw spell, but typical Jimmy the Fish thing to say. Fuck, you're right. God, you see right through me, man. I'm so transparent. <laughs> Well, most rented was Oko. Jeez. Okay, so most most rented card in Pioneer was Teferi, Jace Friends Prodigy, Sahili Rai, and Deathrite Shaman. Idiots. Nice one, two. Wow, so we got rid of two collected companies, and it was really for like the cost of nothing and now we get to go crux of fate uh that, that can go in the graveyard so we can draw a white black land or something destroy all non i i can't wait for the day i'm like destroy all dragons oh no it killed nothing scoop them up you got a one one oh you're right I would have let it resolve untap. Well, they did it at the end of our turn, so if they get like, if they go Nantuko Husk at the end of their, at the end of our turn, and then untap and play like a Cutthroat or like another collected company, which they had two of, then we die. So that seems like it probably would have been a poor play on your part, unfortunately. Scarab God. I'll just keep that. Scare of God, scare of God. You can scare of God, scare of God. I was in Hawaii, hope all's been good. Yeah, man. Thanks for the invite, bro. Do I wanna? He actually did invite you, but it got sent to the house and I ripped it up because I didn't want you to go. You piece of shit. <laughs> Maybe I just want this 4-4 Elvish Visionary that draws us a card. That seems good. That does seem good. I mean, I like drawing cards and I like 4-4s, four so... Oof. Um, <laughs> no, let's keep that. Uh, well, I'll leave it on the top. Draw my card for the turn. Oh, yes. I just push him now. Who? The stupid sack outlet guy. Well, we can't because it's fatal push and nothing has left our, our battlefield this turn because that's not how our bolt works. No, it's not CMC 3 or less. It's 4 or less, Moochel. That's after you do the thing. Why not do that after Search for Esconda? Because there was a lot of things going on and it's just magic. Magic is a hard game, basically. Um, I think we're just keeping this guy back. I don't really want to get shrek over here, but I do want to kind of fatal push this guy because I don't feel like letting that guy stick around is great for us. It's probably a good idea. I'm just going to pass here. But no, I don't want you to actually be able to sack your guys in response. Uh, next turn and also get the pump bonus so you can just sack this guy to the husk make it a 4-4 four four, whatever they didn't they just let it die fascinating most people would be like I'll sack it to my Nantuko husk and I'll be like oh, he doesn't really do anything you don't really do anything Wow. Collect a company? Oh, Catacomb Sifter. Still not a still not a sack outlet. But a sizable number of creatures. They have one card in hand? Okay. You can ring my bit. Ring my bit. Ring your bit? Yeah. What does that what does that mean? Ring my bit. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Okay. Do I wanna do it again? Do it again. <laughs> also if we murderous rider and kill something they sack it in response so the murderous rider goes to the graveyard we can bring it back with Scar Scrabble God and then it's a bigger boy I think I'm keeping this 
I'm still gonna I'm still gonna keep it. I want I want a Dragon Lord Solomgar to steal this guy because I don't think we can lose if they uh, sack it in response, which I'm sure they will. I'm gonna add a black because they need one. I feel like they have six here. Oh no, I guess not. That would be silly if they did that. Oh, okay, we just win the game. So we're 2-0 with this deck right now against homebrews. But then again, this is pretty much a homebrew, too. Let's I, mean, look. I feel like all decks are homebrews right now. Me, too, which is why I think people having these like strong opinions are, so, are kind of silly. They're like, this card is always better than this in this unknown format. And I'm just like, mm, okay, take it easy. Take, take it easy. You're on 3rd Street. I mean, that means we can play the other Nico Bolos, too. Which one, the 5? Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, like, how many... You better be jamming four bolas in there, boy. I am. I just have to get them. I guess we can take out Drifting Death and put it in the sideboard. I kind of like that. Uh, I actually grew, grew to like him. Really? Yeah. Because, like, the two matches we played, it was actually going to be pretty good. Yeah. I, I agree, especially because you can slam it and then, like... I would play him. Keep him in there. Oh, now you want to keep him in there. Keep him in there. He gets an upgrade, boys. He's better than I thought I was. Put him back in. So I think we took out the Teferis sure he just wasn't that impressive like bouncing one permanent doesn't seem that great you're not impressive buddy i know it you don't have to tell me twice oh sweat 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 yeah I'm a little sweaty you're a little sweaty yeah okay that's gross why why are you sweaty i don't know man it's just a little hot in here that's all it's hot in here yeah a little bit it's like 70 degrees it's not 70 degrees in here man here, give me this. Buddy, I want that pointed on me, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Easy for you to say, fan man. <laughs> I am a fan man. I don't think we want double red stuff. I don't think so either. There are a lot of dragons, though. That's what I'm looking. Oh, what about Dragon Master Outcast? Oh, that's just six or more lands. I wonder if that guy's any good. Oh, K Command seems legit. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's that's gas. Um, what was I looking for? I was looking up dragon. Oh, draconic roar also seems good. It deals three, right? Yeah, and if you roll a dragon, they take three too. So it's basically searing blaze. Why is this like? What is this? Oh, color independence twenty one. Oh, these are weird. Okay, so it's actually like. I like having it so there's two two perfect rows. I like having it. I hate you. I don't want to. I hate. I, I don't. I don't mean to hate you. Don't lie. I just think you're really hateable. You know. You're an actual scumbag. Probably cut one fatal bush. More havens. I think I want to cut another Godless Shrine for another Glacial Fortress. Um, one mountain. Steam. Why do you keep wanting to cut Fatal Pushes? Because they're not that great. But I have two reliable ways to make them a four thingy. Maybe you're right, actually. Maybe you're right. They're like Fable Passage and that's it. It seems really greedy. What does? Four mana, four color mana base. Right, but these are going to be taken care of by Havens. Drown Mike in the lock. How high are you on Chromium? I mean, I don't know. I think it's good. We have, we have Haven. I feel like we need to play Mana Confluence. Oh God. We can probably take out Chromium. We do have four Nickel Bolas now. I guess that's fine. Bring back in Beefy Boy. Who? Solomgar. We one. have sixty-six cards, man. Do it. Do we it have for to Papa. Cut, we have to cut lands here. Do it for Papa? Yeah. Papa, can you hear me? Okay, so... 
Definitely cutting two hollowed fountains. One glacial. One godless. 28 lands. Uh, I don't think we're going to need two swamps, to be quite honest. No, we never seem to have a problem with black man. Solemngar Scorn is fantastic, and we're adding four dragons. So, like, this actually just gets better. Michael, can you hear me? No. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, I would be more tempted to cut Scarab God, but, like... Hmm. I do like... I, I, can, I can cut Dig. Sure. This is 27 lands. We have to cut one more land. The only white we need gets hit by Haven. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's eleven white sources. Seems like a lot for just three cards. Really? We can cut yeah. one more Hollow Fountain. Cut one. We can cut the Galda Shrine. Yeah, you can cut that. Brando with the resub. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. All right, so this is twenty-six lands, fifty-nine cards. I do have to rent two more Nicholas Boluses. Maybe Painful Truths can go? Nah, man. Just bring in that fat boy and call it a day. Do it. What about the other one? You even have any? Such disrespect. I don't. Because I play standard on Arena. <sighs> Typical excuse. I agree. Yeah, I agree. People are like Deathrite Shaman Dig are, are super are super good, and I'm just like they're all right. I don't know, man. Like it's just really hard to fill your graveyard. It's like when Dig was in standard; like it was okay, but it was hard to fill your graveyard. Right. I actually think we can only have two Colagons command. I don't think three is the super necessary. Really? Yeah. What do you need a third for? Like, you know, there's not many. There's not many artifacts as modern. Like we're not. We don't have a ton of creatures to return, and we already have Haven of the Spirit Dragon to do so. Two damage is worse than, like, Fatal Push or Murderous Rider. Maybe Call Against Command isn't worth playing. I think it's still very good. I mean, we have three Murderous Rider to kill Planeswalkers. Why Why would we add Dreadbore? I would say add a fourth Murderous Rider. I could see that. We need two cards. What else? What are our two cards? I feel like four drops would be good. How about one Murder Strider and one four drop? Uh, it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to pick up a Rider with a K command considering they go to the bottom of their owner's library. Two Last Hope seems okay, I guess. Um, This is actually tricky. Magic decks are hard. I actually kind of want to take these out now because we're not running a ton of white spells. What's Last Hopes do? Yep. Are we on to the Last Hope? Oh, okay. I thought it was just a card called Last Hopes. No, Lily on to the Last Hope. I'm going to add another Ooh, Raptor. Ooh, Ashiok for the sideboard. Oh, that's good. Which one? The Graveyard Ashiok? No, the, the good one. I think the Graveyard Ashiok is the better Ashiok now. I don't think there's that many Graveyard decks. I kind of do like Thought Erasure. My Thought Scour is legal. No, we're not looking oh, that's at... Oh, okay. We're, this, is, this is all cards. We're not just looking at Pioneer cards. Um, eh, we already have four Thoughtseize. We already have Scarab God in the deck, guys. Come on, get it together. I don't think we need more Thoughtseize effects. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I like 3-drop Sarkin, but I'm not going to have... I, there's no way we're playing a card that... Uh, what about that... The double red card that... 3-damage spell? That you can't cast off Haven. The 3-damage spell? Don't want to reveal a drag. Oh, Draconic Roar does seem good. Are we going to be able to reliably cast it? Yeah, sure. 4, 5, 6, six 7, 8. I don't think so with 8 red sources, man. Hmm. Maybe. Don't be mad at Elk anymore, Bits. I, f I was never mad at Elk Tears, please. We're just pulling a little meme. Ow! Fuck! That hurt. How how did you hurt yourself sitting still? <laughs> no, I moved my foot. This I caught it on the lip of this thing. This? Like your desk? The, the Why would you do that? I don't know what just happened, man. Could was, you have chosen not to do it instead of doing it? I was swinging my foot around like a girly giggling man. <laughs> a girly giggling man. <laughs> and it happened. 
Guys, I need a four drop. Jace AOT seems like an okay one. What's Jace AOT? Architect of Thought. Oh, that guy's legal? Oh, we should definitely play one of that. that uh, good. The, really? Yeah, man. He flips. He rips. He flips? He makes you dip. He's the one that lets you flip, right? He flips. Flip over three cards. He rips. That's the one, right? Yeah. Yeah, that one's great. Seems like a great Is he? card advantage. What about... That guy was an all-star in standard. Can we just play Mind Sculptor instead? <laughs> it's not legal, man. How come my mind sculptors aren't even showing up? <laughs> oh, that is weird that they're not. Oh, because I said, uh, there we go. There he is. Okay, I've got foils. It's not legal, man. The foils are cheaper, man. Don't even, it's not, oh, even a, it's not even a humble brag. It's like, I didn't know. Yeah, they're cheaper. That's weird. Maybe oh, we just play two Jays. Well, that's true. I like that. I like that a lot. I like a lot. Is the Draconic Roar just better than... No, it doesn't kill the cat. Command? Um, I don't think so. Like, this gets back a creature. Like, you can get back a Nicol Bolas and, like, also kill one of their guys. Like, this okay. is just a two-for-one, man. Sometimes. Every day. Every day is chicken Sunday. I mean, we can put one Kalidus in, but, like, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight Kalidus, dragons. Kalidus, get in the house. Get in the dang house. No, we don't have mana confluence either. I don't really take... I don't want to take a... We have Thoughtseize and Murderous Rider and Painful Truths. Like, I don't want to take a million damage. You usually cut Painful Truths, but... What the hell is Scion? Let's look what you made me do. Is there a Scion? A Dragon Scion? What's that? What is that? You just... You gotta be more specific. Scion of Una? I don't think that's good in this deck. <laughs> Scion of Ugin? This Scion of Ugin with oh. the, this 4-4? What, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You just said, this is what you, oh. Like. I just do that sometimes. Why would I think you're okay if you're being an absolute sometimes. weirdo? I am an absolute weirdo though, Frank. Royal Scions? What do they do though? Again, you guys are talking about more red spells. It's almost chicken nugget o'clock, man. Is it almost chicken nugget o'clock? <laughs> What is this? I don't think this is great for No, us. I hate that card. That card sucks. I think the card is good in nope. specific situ- Okay. Terrible. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Sleep, sleep in that box is amazing. All right, we need two more sideboard cards. What are they going to be? Do we like duress? I kind of like- Why, wow, Johnny? Why? Thank you for the bits, man. Really? Nugget o'clock buck. <laughs> wow. What health issue will Mike have this month? Find out on tonight's stream. <laughs> um, uh, we're, we're trying not to play... Guys, stop... Ha, James, stop saying stop saying non-dragon creatures. Um, Only dragons. Only dragons. I'm going to put Thought Erasure instead of Duress in the sideboard because I just think it's better. I think that's okay. I'm going to put a third one in here too for the control Ooh, matchups. We'll the third one do. Okay. Also, what about like some red removal low to the ground in case we face an aggro matchup? I just had another cast down. I mean, like, because I want to have things for the cat combo in case that's a thing. Anger of the Gods, there's no f there's no way on, on the green earth that we're going to be able to play a double, a double red, red spell. spell. Yeah, no. When no, we I have, like, eight red sources. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then these also sacrifice themselves. I feel so. like we should add some more red. We, we don't... This is the only red card we need red mana for. Haven of the Spirit Dragon cast these guys. Yeah, but what if we don't get a Haven of the Dragon Spurgit? Then we have seven red sources. We have 11 red sources for one Nicol Bolas. Oh, so we have 11 total for Nickel Bowls? Yes. And One, two, seven three, four, otherwise. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then... Eight re for... Eight non-dragon red sources. Okay. Yeah, it's probably fine. Foul Tongue? In, when, when, in what situation do I want Cyclonic Rift instead of just like a... thing? When you rift, I rift, or you rift. Nickel Bolas Planeswalker. Is that the dude? Nickel Bolas Planeswalker? No, that's not it. Is it a Ravager? Uh, Dragon God? No. Is that the good one? Oh, Ravager's Ravager. only like a dollar? I'll just buy that dude. No, you don't want, you don't like me? Wow, Monster Mentor is up to 19 tickets. This format's insane, dude. 
Emrakul the Promised Land up to 23. Why isn't there a Bolas God Pharaoh? Uh, I don't think I don't think Selmgar's command is that great. It's five mana and like it's competing with all of our other five mana spells, which are like Skyrim God, Dragon Lord, Jatai, Crux of Fate. Like I don't know. I think it's I don't I don't mind it, but no lingering souls makes me sad. Well, the greed. I think ugh, cancel. Dang it, man! Gobots is just popping. What even spells can you use for Mentor that are good? I don't know, dude. But there's so much, there's so much Opt, like potential in this format that you can. All right, nickel bowl, nickel B. I don't even know why I added the B. It's not like there's gonna be one, two, one, two. I'm just gonna take this guy just in case. Why are you picking up those other ones? Because why not? Oh, they only have two. That sucks. I only need two. What? I'm not going to take oh. four of these, and I already have two of these. Are we missing anything else? Were those the only cards we needed? I think so. Okay. I guess I'll wait to get this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one, just in case you want to slot one in this deck. The problem is you can't... <sighs> I want to modify. I, the problem is you can't... Like, it's funny because Haven of the Spirit Dragon, you can only get an Ugin... You can't get a Nicol Bolas, even though they're both dragon planeswalkers. So, I'm just going to get these two. And we have a ton of removal. We have two Fatal Push, we have a Cast Down, we have four Counter Spells, three Murderous Riders, two Kologon's Command. I don't think we're going to need that many that many sweepers Plus, before flip, Crux of Fate. If you're a flip Ravager, he has removal too. Arcbound Ravager? Yeah, Arcbound Ravager. God dang. Let's go to Constructed. Mission Briefing? Nah, dog. We don't even have enough spells for Mission Breathing, let alone enough blue mana. Did you both meet? Yeah, I met Mike through Magic like 10 years ago, man. It's been a while. <laughs> That's pretty good. Jamie's like, I thought that was a penis coming out of your chest. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Golden Demise? Golden Demise is fine. Um, I would there's gotta be something. I'd probably play Cry of the Carnarium to exile the creatures though. Alright, you ready? We're doing it. Uh yeah, I like this. I'm gonna keep it. Thank you. Monkey knife fight. Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, they went to a six. They're basically dead. Is the door open? Okay. Brutal. Ho, ho, ho. What? Ho, ho, ho. You okay? Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, you don't sound okay, man. Ho. I think I need to call. I think I need to call somebody for you. I think I need to call somebody. I'll call Dr. Tinfoil. Dr. Tinfoil is who you can call. Yeah. No, don't like that. This is going to be like the longest standard or pioneer thing you've ever recorded. It's the only pioneer thing I've ever recorded. Touche. Got him. Wow. Come on, dude. It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dude. It's not Wednesday. Reeves Daddy, have a good night, buddy. Glad you're hanging out. See you later. Bye. Will oh, Colgan's command? I can't even cast that. Joke's on you, buddy. Yeah, that was a weird card to take with no red in hand. Ooh. However, let me see what you got. 
Seder Wayfinder, Anafenza, Death Rite Shaman. Just take the Anafenza. Really? Yeah. What are you going to take instead? Phil, have a good night, buddy. Enjoy work. It's Wednesday to me, Mike. How dare you deny my... He's right. It's Wednesday somewhere. Well, I don't like Seder Wayfinder because then they like they can play Death Rite Shaman. They can start pumping it. Like, they can't even cast an Anafenza without Seder Wayfinder. Then take Seder. I'm going to. Okay. But okay. Excuse me. You don't know my life. I haven't looked at lists. Anyone know of anything fun with Mentor or just spiking in price? Because I think everything is spiking. No one has any idea what's going on. Excuse me. So this and this are gone. Oh, Murderous Rider. Buddy. I think we're just fail pushing this guy. Or do we cast it down into the depths of hell? I'll just push it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll... I've been getting all my business recently. I gotta keep bumping into you. I don't know what's going on, man. It's just life, man. It never used to be life. Well, the camera's different. The setup's different. Nothing has do? changed. Everything I haven't has changed. changed. <laughs> Everything is different now. Are they conceding? Is the game over? Probably. Unbelievable. How are they going to win? How is it even possible? They can't. It's impossible. They basically essentially conceded. Let's go to their spirit. creatures. They're dead. We got two more kill spells, too. It's unbelievable. They can't even cast their Anafenza. Oh, that's a good draw. You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding, Moochel. I'm sort of surprised Fire's Invention hasn't spiked in value after at least five out of it and taking turns modern deck the other. Oh, that seems legit. No, that's a that's a spicy meatball. That is one spot. It's hard for it to spike though, because like it's in a set it's in a set where it's not super popular in standard. Right? So is like that taking turns on the internet for me to watch? Yeah, we can watch it later. Um That seems like cool. I'll put that in the graveyard. I don't need a fifth land right now. Oh it's your boy. Because I like nothing better than taking extra turns. Is Exile a creature card from Graveyard? We have a land in there too. I'm just going to kill this guy. The thing is, a four mana red enchantment that's only good in modern and for a fringe deck is not going to spike. Because there's just going to be too many that are opened. There's going to be like a billion opened, and then it's not super popular enough. Like if it was in a, t a tier one standard deck, and it was also seen play in modern, a card like, you know, Assassin's Trophy or something, then that's going to be that's going to be higher in value. I got you, Mikey B. Here's the link for later. Looks sweet. I will probably be in the later. recommends. Land. Thoughts, sneeze. Tassiger, Fatal Push, Anafenza. Don't care about Fatal Push. I don't even care about Anafenza. I'm going to take your Tassie. Sweet Tassie Molassi. So now you have Fatal Push, Anafenza. Do not hit a white source. No white source. Don't you do it. I mean, we can still kill it if he does. Not this turn, we can. Why not? How can we do it? Tap your left foot in, tap your right foot out. Then you shake it all about. Okay, I'm going to assume you see my, my point. And that's your way of saying you're wrong. No. Okay. I never admit defeat, Frank. I'm aware. Uh, no, <laughs> keeping that. Oh, and we got to flip it. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four. Yeah, the flip it. You didn't even need the land, stupid. You're right. I'm an absolute grade A moron. Yeah, they scooped. Look, do you see their graveyard? Do you see all their graveyard shit that they're doing? And you're like, nobody does graveyard things. That's why I say we recommended the cage, bro. Put them in the cage. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if that does against them. Though. Actually, it doesn't do anything because they don't really rely on it. They just exile things from graveyards. They did have a lot of, uh, I want to take these out. These don't kill, like, anything except for their except death right for my on. butt. Kills your butt? Yeah. Okay. Por qué? I'm just going to submit like this, I guess. It kills my butt. Por qué? Porky? <laughs> Por qué, pig? I can't believe Nick broke that chair. 
Yeah, Nick broke the chair all by himself. I might have had something to do with it. It's Yeah, it's not like you and Rob sitting in it regularly had anything to do with that. You you got you're fuck you're literally Tommy Boy when he breaks the door and then David Spade goes to pull it off and you're like I can't believe David Spade <laughs> broke the door. <laughs> uh, he contributed a little bit. He made a bad move in it. That's the problem. He did. He yeah, but I think it was already compromised. Yeah, there were any a couple, other chairs. There not were gonna... a couple times when me and Rob sit on and you hear a weird noise and you're like, yes, yeah, and I'm like, what's good. that? And you're like, nothing. Don't worry about it. Just you just flip sure. it over. You can't see it, but it's it's all on the weekend. Anyway. Right, but I'm always like, hey man, what's that noise that the chair just made? That doesn't sound healthy. Is there even a way to replace that? Because it like it's from a certain set. No, which doesn't exist anymore. Probably. No, my chair is just done. Okay, <laughs> it's just dead. Forget about it. I just it, have okay? to buy a new table. Well, you don't have to buy a new table. Well, I'm not gonna buy one. Of... I'm not gonna buy one weird chair. That table's like eight years old, man. No, but I could. You could still just buy a set of chairs and we have the same table. You can find matching chairs. How am I going to do that? Easy. I don't want a big table anymore. I want a small reclaimed wood table. Like a bar table. I've already I don't been know, I don't know what that means. Them. Like, I'll show you. Hold on. Okay. They're going to show me Etsy. Like something like this. But like a small one. Yeah, we don't really ever eat at the table or anything. Right. No one, like one person at a time eats at the dinner table. We don't play games at it or anything. Because we have no friends. <laughs> okay, we have friends, but we just oh, don't have friends in this area that are willing to play games. We don't have any friends. We have many friends in far off places. All my friends. Oh man, we should have cubed when Nick was here. We didn't think about that. Who are we gonna cube with? We're gonna take it to the shop. What shop? Short stop. We've actually asked them multiple times if we can cube them. They're like, no, we don't want you. We don't want you to intrude. Really? On our yeah, they're really weird about that shit. That's some, that's some that's, like, that's like, really small. Well, yes, but this isn't the exact dimensions. I would get 36 by 36. Oh, okay. Which is bigger. Onlymatchingchairs.com? Is that a real... That's a fucking fake site, you son of a bitch. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, is that a real thing? You can find matching chairs? No. Oh, man. I got so excited, too. I was like, he was really excited. what a crazy site. Then that way, there'll be three more chairs that you have spare for this room in case others break. Yeah, man, you're really looking at the, you're looking at the silver lining here, my dude. It is Wednesday, my <laughs> dude. <laughs> you can't help yourself. It's just a funny saying, man. I think we're dead. I don't care. I'm having a good time. Do something like this. I don't like the four legs, though. I'd rather just have the center leg. If you know what I'm saying. If you know what I mean, my dude. No. Okay. Oh, it's my... They're waiting on me? My bad. I thought they were good. Oh, my bad. What? Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad? Mm-hmm. See, that's why I was looking at these stools, too. Because I want to get some stools like this and just have them... Mike, you drinking Sunny D? No. What are you drinking? Root beer? Yeah. Okay. If you're looking for tables, the ones I think are awesome have like the oh the uh, the resin tables. Yeah, those are sick, dude. Have you seen much of Sentency Comics? I mean, I've played three rounds of of uh, Pioneer so far, so hard to say. Hard to say if I've seen many. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, other than a Twitch subscription or a Twitch follow. Which I would really appreciate because that would show that's a good amount of love. Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash Frank Lepore and donate one or two dollars a month. It's a great way to support the YouTube content, the Cool Stuff Inc. content, or the Twitch TV content. What did they do? They just activated this? Sure. You can also send us five nickels in the mail. Please don't send me five nickels in the mail. Are you sure? I'm 100% that's positive. All, that's equivalent to a quarter. Please don't send me nickels in the mail. <laughs> what if they send you like 500 nickels? How, many, how much even is that? Uh, is, does it cost more than 500 nickels to ship 500 nickels? <laughs> Probably. Aren't you just losing money? So every 20 nickels is a dollar. So 500 divided by 20... <laughs> Is uh 
Twenty-five dollars. Yeah, it's twenty-five dollars. I don't want your nickels, man. It's worth losing. I pay forty cents for a stamp to send you five nickel. Wow, that's. I'm tempted to just kill this dude. What did they do? What did they do? They played. They activated Tassiger. Oh, did they activate Tassiger and only these two into the graveyard? Oh, so they didn't even draw anything? Oh, that's actually pretty good for us. I'm tempted to just murder us rider this dude. Alright, I'll do it. I like to live dangerously. Is Mike looking up the price of nickels? Yes. What's a nickel cost, internet? <laughs> hey, Google. Alexa, how much is a nickel worth? God damn, the future is amazing. You can be known as the nickel guy. It'll be fun. That'll that's a good name to have when I'm pioneering the website onlymatchingchairs.com. <laughs> I'll take one. Old Frank Penny's Lapore, they used to call me. What's happening now? Oh, back in my day, I used to have all of these pennies. Oh, Jesus, look at this beauty. <laughs> are, you, are you okay? It just sounded like a wildlife show. Look at this beauty. <laughs> hey, look at this. Look at this specimen here. Also, that's, that's going to totally kill us. I, I got a Dragon Lord Ojitai, I do. Uh huh. That can trade with it. That's fine. Trade's all I can look for at this, at this point in my life. All right, Ojitai it is, I guess. Oh, oh, he's a beauty, isn't he? <laughs> Look at these Khans and Tarkir battles. Yeah, we got Dragon Lord Ojitai versus Siege Rhino. I think Khans is probably one of the powerful, more powerful sets. I top eight at a Khans GP. I was there. So was Andrew. Man, that was an event right there. He day two. God, I was so First proud GP. of him. First GP. I was so proud of him. What a natural talent. What a natural talent. Oh, what a natural beauty he was. Can't take me seriously. Does this have first strike? Damn. No. So close, though. Can we also haven't drawn any interactive cards. We haven't drawn any, like, Selmgar Scorns or Supreme if Wills. If that thing had first strike, it'd be, like, the best wall of all time. Oh, man. That'd be amazing. Did you say the best wall of all time? Yeah. Bitch, this is a dragon, Michael. It would still be the best wall of all time if it had first strike. Maybe. Can you stop thought seizing me? I'm not seeing ooze for some reason. Scavenging ooze? What's this? Oh, God. No, we're not looking at this graph. What is the best wall ever at MTG? Uh, I would say wall of reverence. That's the one that gains you life? Yeah, it's like the 1-6 that gains you life equal to power. So you're like, I'll blow a siege rhino and gain four life a turn. And they're like, oh, shit. I mean, we're definitely trading. I'm not going to go to four here when you got... What about the wall of flying trout, the zero eight? The what? The what? Wall of omens is real good, too. I was thinking the best wall as a wall, not the best wall. Wall of the Nile, that's it. That's oh, my cool. God. Can I just draw... I just want to draw Crux of Fate right here. Play another idiot. Crux of Fate. Crux, Crux, Crux of Fate. I just want a crux of fate. Crux of fate. Crux, crux, crux of fate. Plume Veil is pretty good. Um, The 07, like, Wall of Denial with Hexproof is That's pretty good. That's what I was talking about. You just said Plume Veil. Before that, I said, someone put in the chat Wall of Denial. Oh, Murderous Rider. No, I don't think I want this other Murderous Rider. It doesn't really do anything. It's a pretty good blocker out there. So does this one, though. Oh, another land, huh? Welp. He only has one card in hand. You should jam the boss to get it out of his Don't hand. we know the card? I don't know. It's man. a woodland cemetery, right? Well, get it out of his hand. You don't want him to have that. 
You don't want them to have a woodland cemetery. Are we dead? They just go exile. I guess we don't have any creatures and they only have one, two. Oh, they have three. So next turn they can go deal us two, deal us two, four. And then any spell that goes to the graveyard. I kind of just want this guy, I'll be honest with you. He got lifelink. Yeah, I need to start gaining some life here. Wall of butts. All of butts? Saffron all of butts? Everyone, if this thread tells us anything, it's that everybody's got their favorite their favorite walls. Wall of shroots? <laughs> well, that's made of beets. Or is it made of bears? Or perhaps Battlestar Galacticas. Why no Fable Fetch? Um, I just don't need to do it. And we have Fatal Push in the deck that I'd like to keep up. This is interesting. I think a killer own guy. They just let me gain a life. I gained I, I netted a life with that attack. Yeah, that was weird. Did they not throw this guy's lifelink? Maybe they don't. We could we could still flip the search. Like I'm not worried about that. I'm also not worried about the mana per se. Whoa! Oh, Matthew Brown, thank you so much for the Patreon contribution. Really appreciate it. patreoncom slash Lapore. It's where you go to be a patron. Also, we can't we can't necessarily flip the uh, the search because they can just exile guys from our graveyard at will. So that's a little ambitious. Wall of Happy Birthday, guys! It's Mike's birthday today. Can you actually guys? Can you guys wish Mike a happy birthday? Uh, yes. I do not want that. <sighs> Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we're definitely we're definitely attacking here to go to seven. Get them. I am getting them. Get them. Happy birthday, Michael. How old are you today, bud? I'm 400 years old. Sh 15. Sh 15. Mm -hmm. They grow up so fast, don't they? Well, they're getting rid of this woodland cemetery, I bet. So I'm going to get rid of that thing. Take the... Oh, so... Did they not... Oh, so we know their card. Huh. Bold strategy. Now I will play this because... Reasons. Last one. Because raisins. Because of raisins. I actually feel like we're in good shape at seven here, and they have one land in hand. So unless they draw something utterly broken, dude, I can't even imagine what they could draw that's so broken. What do you draw? One, two, three. Do they go? What if they go siege rhino and then double death ray shaman to kill us? That'd be insane. That would work. Happy birthday, your mom probably got a Valentine's Day donging. Wow. Your mom got that hat for that Valent that, that VD donging? That VDD, if you will. You got a fucking glasses. What's your what's your mom's favorite wall? I don't know, man. Well, think about it. She doesn't play magic. It's a demon game. Oh, Tessie Gray. That's a good wait, did they keep up not enough to Yep. Wait, why would they... Their last card is Woodland Cemetery, right? They hit it off of this, and last turn they played Temple Garden. So why are they not playing the... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I also don't know why you'd keep these untapped and not just, just get rid of two more, because then you can activate both of these. Okay, so now we're at five. Now we're at three. But there's no more sorceries or anything, so we are actually kind of safe from these guys. We can also flip this dude. That seems good. I agree with you. Supreme Will. They don't want to put that in a graveyard. I don't, actually. Deals 10 damage. We can actually put a creature or graveyard from a graveyard. <laughs> creature or graveyard. Um, put a creature or planeswalker from a graveyard. We can also draw two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
The question is if it's better to flip this, kill this guy. Nicobolus would go to four, so it actually stays alive. And then we go to five by attacking. That seems good. I like that. Oh, we can also... No, we can't play another Nicobolus. We, can also, mm, we can't do anything else, I guess. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. This is do eight. it, do it, do it. But then we're at... No, we die, though, right? Like, Why? Because they can attack for two, put us to one, and then if there's any instant or sorcery, they just get to flip this. Why don't or, we just kill the Tassiger and not attack? Because it's the same, same situation. They could just double activate? I don't know. Hodge Gulashi, 20 nickel. What? They need two spells. I guess. What's our other choice? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, flip. I guess I should have attacked first then. That was pretty bad. Um, yes. No, we're getting rid of Tassiger, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we have no more spells in our graveyard. They have a woodland. Yeah, they actually have... There's nothing they can really kill us with this turn. We have a lifelinker, but I'm concerned with them going, like, spell, spell, kill, kill. Like, double activate. Again, it's a situation where, like, I think a Crux of Fate is actually fine for us. So if we get to untap and draw two, I think we're in okay shape. But that's just my guess. That's my esteemed guesstimation. Talk, talking about my guesstimation. What? This is a mistake. What the? F we break even, right? Did they forget this as lifelink? Okay, so we stay at three and we just get to eat a death right shaman. Okay, another death right shaman. They literally just threw that away. From I me. have no idea what's going on. Now, had they waited and played the other Death Red Shaman, and then the next turn they could actually. No, because we go to two. Uh, put Search for His Content in the graveyard. Do I want to flip this? Yes. Even if it puts us at two, I think it's fine. Yes, we'll flip you. Oh! Uh, let's draw two. Hopefully, we'll hit something. Mm, that's not good. Nope. Don't like it. I guess we can go to four here, play a Nicol Bolas, get, the, get rid of their last card, keep up Silumgar Scorn. And won't that kill your other Nicol Bolas? No, because this is these are two different cards. Okay. We could also activate as Kanta here and try to hit something, which could be fine. What can we even hit? Crux? Uh, Crux of Fate or uh, like Fatal Push. Yikes. One, two, three, four. We still get to keep up. Black, blue, red. Nicobolus. So they only have one activation of uh, Deathrite Shaman at this juncture. Yep, there's a Woodland Cemetery that they were insisting on keeping for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. That was weird. So we're at five. Even if they have two spells, we have one spell in the graveyard. Even if they somehow get a second spell in the graveyard, they can still put us to... Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> All right. 3-0 with this sweet dragon deck. I think we're going to call it here for this deck um, because it's at... We're at about an hour and 54 minutes, which is more than digestible. I think this deck was sweet. Um, all three of the versions seemed fine. There's like a ton of different options. Search isn't a spell for Deathrite Shaman. Is it not? Is it not a non-creature spell? It's instant or sorcery? That's probably true then. Either way, if you guys are watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you guys are watching on YouTube, ah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on patreon.com slash franklaport. It's a great way to support the channel. As well as checking out Mana Traders, which is the sponsor that we use to actually borrow these cards on Magic Online. They have great subscription service. And with the link and promo code in the description below, you can get 20% off the first three months, which is a sweet deal. And uh, you can also check out my articles that go up every Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dudes, at coolstuffinc.com. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.